Hey everyone, you might have seen nav links becoming active as you scroll to the specific section in many websites. Usually we need JavaScript for this, but in this video we're going to do it using only CSS. To prepare for this video, I've created a navbar with five nav links and divided the body into five sections according to the nav links. Each nav link has a class named after its section. Now, let's write the CSS code. First, we'll create an animation called Active Scroll for the home link. This animation will change the color of the nav link and add a 2px border as we scroll to its section, then return it to its original state as we scroll past the section. The animation timeline will be set to scroll E. As you can see, the animation starts at 0%, but the color and border don't change when we scroll to the next section. To make it more customizable, let's add percentages to the keyframes. Even now, the color and border aren't changing back to default at the right time. Let's try decreasing the last keyframe randomly. Now at 65%, the color and border change exactly where we want. Next, copy the code, paste it, change the class name to about and add 2 to the animation name. Then adjust the keyframes to start the animation at the about section and complete it as we scroll past. As you can see, it starts where we want, but the color and border changes very late. That's because in this way the first nav link runs smoothly, but for the second we need to lower the keyframe separately from the first one. Let's lower the keyframe so the animation runs from 42% to 55%. Another problem is that the animation starts too early. To delay the start, add another keyframe in the middle which will be lower than the starting keyframe. Let's try 11% and set the color to white and the border to none. Now that's perfect. Let's move to the next one. Copy and paste the code once, change the class and animation name. The process is almost the same as the second one, except now we won't be lowering the keyframes. Instead, we'll increase the starting and ending keyframes a little, find the suitable ending keyframe, then increase the middle keyframe to delay the start. I found the expected result after changing the middle keyframe to 38%. This process will be the same for the portfolio and contact nav links. For the contact link, keep the color and border unchanged in the starting and ending keyframe because there's no section to scroll past or scroll forward. And there you have it, active nav links on scroll. If you found this video helpful and interesting, please like and subscribe for more programming videos in the future. Leave a comment to share your thoughts or suggest a topic for the next video. Thanks for watching.